if you want to combine text and numbers together, you are going to come across this problem. So here we've got some unit sales. You'll see they look okay there, but they've actually got decimals. I've built a concatenate using that number, but you'll see concatenate then reverts to what Excel sees. So I'd like it to actually look like this. Now I'm going to show you a text function, but just quickly control one. You'll see I've got a custom setting. If you didn't have a custom setting, maybe you had one of these. Click on custom because what we need to do is copy this. So I'm just going to copy this. Sometimes they're simple, but if you want more complex ones, use that. So now I'm going to do a text function. So there's the text function. So all I need to do is point at the number. So you'll see it sees that. And for the format text, all I'm going to do is put inverted commas and paste the code that I generated with inverted commas. And when I say OK, you'll see, again, it looks like the same thing, but just notice it went to the left. So it is converting it into a, as if it was a word. And now when you actually look at the concatenate, it actually looks like that. We can do the same thing with percentages. So here you'll see we've got Dodsworth sold and you've got the full decimal here. So again, this one's a little bit easier, so I don't have to copy the format. Go format, text, look there, and I know that with inverted commas, I'm gonna put zero point, let's make it zero, zero percent, close inverted commas. When I say okay, looks like that, but more importantly, I'll see this when I correct it. Now it looks correct. So this is if you want to use any formatting. There is a function built in called dollar, which will convert a number into a currency format. So again, here, there's some numbers. When you actually try and combine it, you'll see it doesn't quite work out. The dollar function is quite useful. So all you need to do is point at the cell, say how many decimals you want. So just to be different, I'm going to put a one. And notice that even though it says dollar, my computer's currency is set up as rands. So it will be whatever your currency is set up. And you'll see instead of it looking like this, it looks like this.